Hey guys, it's me, Mari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and I am back filming. I'm so happy. Today's video is going to be how to slay your makeup when you don't have time. And this is not a crazy look. This is just when you want to look well put together, but you don't feel like you have that time to make yourself like do the contour and the highlight and all that other stuff you can actually achieve this look in 20 minutes or less depending on how good you are with makeup so i hope that you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in my next video bye guys okay so the first thing i'm going to do is start out by priming in the winter time i do use a mattifying primer but since the Make It Forever brand is a little less drying. I'm going to choose to use that one today. Next up, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation in the darkest color. And believe it or not, it is one of my favorites. Although it's a red foundation, but it does oxidize in nicely um, into the skin. Um, I actually lost a clip of me applying it, so I'm going to go right into concealing. And for my concealer today, I'm using my Morphe Kit. And I'll leave the shade down below and then after that I just apply a little bit of my LA Girl Concealer in Cool Tan to help maneuver the product because the Morphe concealer was actually a cream concealer so it's a little harder to um, maneuver the product so then that's why I apply the LA Girl Concealer. Then of course we're going to blend out that concealer. I love the Beauty Blender, the original one so I would never change it so that's what I'm using today. After that, we're going to go in and just set the highlighted areas of our face. We don't have time to bake, so I'm just applying it with a small powder brush. After setting the highlighted areas of our face, we're going right into contour. We're not going to do cream contour because we don't have time. <laughs> so we're going to do the powder contour. As always, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder and NW50 first. And then on top of that, to warm it up a bit, I use my CoverGirl Bronzer and Ebony. And then, of course, we cannot forget to smash that nose. <laughs> So then after that, we're going to go in with the same CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer and apply it as a transition color. This just kind of gives the illusion that our crease is deeper than what it is. So I like doing that when I don't have time just to give my face a little um. So next, I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'm going to pop on some lashes. Now, thank God it doesn't take me that long. But if it takes you long, you don't have to apply the lashes. After applying your mascara and or lashes, you can then go in with your setting powder for your entire face. I love my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And then after that, I'm going to go in with my highlight. This is my favorite highlight of all times. And this is from the Karuchi Collection for ColourPop. And it's called Glow Up. After applying my highlighter, I usually just go back in with my damn beauty blender and just press it into the skin so it doesn't look like it's sitting on top, but it's more of a natural glow. Lastly, you guys know that I'm in love with nude, pinky nude, any type of nude lippy. So I'm going to go in with my chestnut lip liner, of course, and then I'm going to go in with Kat Von D's Lolita. That is a throwback. <laughs> This is the final look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed, please definitely take this time and subscribe. 